Okay guys, today I'm testing Amiga Basic compilers. Now I'm not testing every basic compiler out there, just the ones that are Amiga Basic uh, compatible or the uh, Amiga Basic dialect. So things like Blitz Basic and GFA Basic or what others, um, I'm not testing any of those and I don't have any interest at the at this point for any of those compilers, but that might change in the future, but for now, I'm going to be testing uh, Cursor, uh, HBasic, and ACBasic. I will be, uh, I will not be testing uh, ACE because that doesn't have uh, put or object command support. It does have some logo drawing commands, but that's not any use to me. Um, so what I'm going to do is test some of the uh, code that I generate uh, with uh, Raster Master to see if it works with all these different compilers. So I'm going to be using UAE to uh, test all this out. And uh, first, let's start with uh, Cursor because it's the uh, simplest. Yeah, I can't seem to get this cleaned up for some reason. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows how to do that. Uh, drop me a note. I'm still relearning a lot of these Amiga, Amiga things. So anyway, back to cursor. And uh, I've created a special folder here called Nick Demos. There's only one actually. And... So with Cursor, it does support some um, compiler options that you could put in the uh, code itself. So there's an option for no window, and uh, that it prevents it from opening a, a default CLI window. Now, I'm going to run this just to show you what we see. Compile and run. And... Uh, so all this is normal except for this right here. Uh, this is supposed to be a V sprite and it's supposed to look like this. And it doesn't look like that. So, so there's a problem right there. Um, but otherwise everything else worked. So this looks like uh, how they look in Amiga Basic. Excuse me for a second. <clears throat> Get some water. Yeah, so everything looks like um, it should in Amiga Basic, but except for the V sprite, so I'm not sure what, what's quite, what's going on there. Um, the other thing you'll notice it's uh, we're using a 640 by 200, and uh, and in uh, four bit planes. Now, if I switch this to 320 200 five bit planes. Um, Let's just see what happens. Compile and run. And we get a big blue screen. So nothing seems to work. Um, so I thought maybe it's the amount of bit planes. If we drop that down to four. Now, we have four bit planes now, but we're still in the uh, six. 640 by 200 mode so that's why we're, we're only seeing like half the uh, window here anyway so some of the other things I found that don't work with ACE is that um, it doesn't have uh, support for option base uh, 1 so if you wanted to create a ray starting at once, that's not possible. It is an Amiga Basic. Um, and because of that, it doesn't support the L-bound and U-bound commands that tell you the uh, upper and lower uh, dimensions of uh, an array. But besides that, uh, everything else seems to work uh, pretty good. Uh, one 
nice feature. I'm not sure if even even if it's documented or not, but uh, I think the call is optional. So if we just uh, do this and compile and run, yeah, it doesn't complain about it. So call is optional, which is good because it makes things uh, a little more readable. I will put it back just to stay compatible with everything. All right. So now let's move on to um, HBasic. So I'm going to close this down. And let's find that. OK, HBasic 2. So I know there's um, a later version that was put up by Maxon. So I think it's uh, Maxon 3 basic or something to that effect. Um, I think that requires a, a newer version of Workbench. And I'm kind of stuck at 1.3 at this point. I will eventually move up to the uh, newer versions, but uh, 1.3 is what I know. And uh, so far, I'm relearning a lot of things, and uh, I'm kind of happy with 1.3 with the uh, things that are working. So let's just uh, run HBasic 2. And uh, now, what I noticed about um, HiSoft Basic is that it resembles uh, the uh, a lot of the things that uh, are in Turbo Pascal, like the uh, menu options here. It looks like it's all modeled after Turbo Pascal. And it's not a bad thing because Turbo Pascal is a pretty good compiler, but uh, for basic. Uh, I know Highsoft also has a Pascal compiler, so it's probably because of that. I will check that out in the future, but for now we're sticking with basic. So let's try uh, loading up the, uh, the same code. Uh, and let's load up uh, this one. Okay, so I'm going to have to, well, I already do have that commented out. Okay, so I'm going to comment out the uh, V sprite portion. Um, just because I know it'll crash the uh, the operating system. So let's put a few comments in front of each uh, command. Okay. All right, let's see if it runs from here. Okay, so that, that works as expected as well. Okay, right now I'm going to uncomment these and we'll see what happens. I've blown the surprise, but uh, you, at least you'll get to see it. Uh, oh, that's strange. Oh, there we go. I was going to say it, it didn't crash this time, but uh, it did. Okay, so we'll be back in just a few seconds. Now, normally on a real Amiga, this would take a long time, and uh, but I have everything configured to just uh, basically load up really quickly. Okay, so let's... Uh, so AppSoft makes uh, AC Basic. And they're still around, actually. They're, I think their main product is a Fortran compiler, which they still sell, which is amazing. OK, so uh, I believe it's here. Um, here it is.
Now I've had to put this in the same folder as the uh, AC Basic compiler. If I try to compile it from a different area, it complains that it can't find a certain library. Okay, so let's compile. And uh, what do I have to do here? Oh yes, so I'm going to have to jump to the uh, CLI. And it's in this folder. And uh, okay, so the uh, Amiga Basic, uh, the AC Basic compiler compiles everything to whatever file name it is, plus dot run. So this is an exe, but it, the extension is dot run. It'll let's run it. And uh, with AC, uh, AC Basic Compiler, it supports everything. So it supports the uh, put image, it supports the Bob, and it supports the V sprite. So out of the three compilers, um, the AC Basic Compiler is the only one that supports all the features. Um, and that's as much testing as I've done. I haven't done any serious testing with bigger programs. But I think that's enough to go on. Uh, if you want to give uh, a try to any of these compilers, maybe you can find out how to get the uh, different uh, screen resolutions working in um, in cursor. If I did something uh, stupid there and uh, missed an obvious uh, thing, uh, drop me a note if you could get it to go into different uh, resolutions, 320 by 200 or uh, any of the other resolutions. Uh, that are not 640 by 200. Um, and for HBASIC, uh, the high soft basic compiler, if you know if the uh, newer version, the uh, Maxon compiler, if it resolves this problem, if you know that it does, leave me a note as well. And I think that's where I'll, I will end this video. Thanks for watching.